Good morning, everyone. Today is Monday, January 17th, and today is Martin Luther King Jr. birthday holiday. And I thought today I would uh, let you know uh, three of my favorite quotes from Martin Luther King Jr. Um, and tell you a little bit about them. And the first one says that faith is taking the first step even when you do not see the whole staircase. This one has meant a lot to me since I uh, first learned about it. Uh, for faith sometimes can lead us to believe that we can do anything, that if we just profess our faith, we can do anything on our own in, the, on, in this world. And that is, that is not correct because we have faith in God. And so if we have faith with God, we can do anything in this world. And the only thing we have to do is keep taking that first step forward. You know, if we, if we knew all the parts, if we already knew what was going to happen, then, then we wouldn't need faith. We would, we would already know. So faith in God is what keeps us moving forward. The second one is similar to that. And it says, if you cannot fly, then run. If you cannot run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. But whatever you do, keep moving forward. He has another saying that's similar to this that, that ends with, do whatever you can do at the moment that you are in it. Do whatever you can do wherever you can in any situation. The final quote that I like, says that the, the greatest question is in life is not what have you done, but what have you done for others? Yesterday at church, we talked a lot about the Holy Spirit and one of the words that was used was activate. We were reading Paul's letter where he says that we all have gifts of the Spirit and it is through that Spirit that they are activated within us. So on this MLK day, when we remember, you know, a, a man who, who embodied God's love so great that we still remember and try to imitate him today, let us remember that it's the same spirit that was activated in him that is activated within us. One final quote of MLK is, never let anyone pull you so low that you hate him. For there is no hate in God, only love.